वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश ट्वेंटी सो स्टेटमेंट इज ए नाइन नाइन टू स्टील रील शाफ्ट ऑफ एन ऑयल वेल एक्सटेंड ट्वेल्थ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फीट इन टू द ग्राउंड इज्यूमिंग दैट पाइप यूज टू ड्रिल द वेल इज सस्पेंडेड फ्रीली फ्रॉम द डेरेक एट ए डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन ईच पाइप सेगमेंट एंड इलांगेशन ऑफ इट्स एन डी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फिक्स एंड ए The shaft consists of three different sizes of pipe A, B, B, C, and C, D, and each having the length, weight per unit length, and cross section indicated. So you can see this is derrick and A, and this is the pipe that is A, B, B, C, and C, D having each area and weights as well as length is mentioned over here. So you have to find the stress in shaft uh, in pipe A B in B C and C D, and then the elongation of this point D with respect to this point A. So let's start with the solution. So we know that stress in generally is equal to force per unit area. So first of all, we will find the load force in force in each segment. so i will take first segment cd so segment segment cd and when we draw the free body diagram so this is and c where you will having a weight that is acting over here let this length is x so this weight is equal to uh, Two feet multiply by twenty thousand. So let uh, as we have taken x x, so its weight will be equal to twenty into x. And in order to keep it balanced, we will having upper force which is p of x, and that will be equal to twenty x. So load in segment C D. P of x will be equal to twenty x. So then you can see x is twenty thousand. So far, x is equal to two thousand, not twenty thousand. Twenty thousand to two two thousand feet. We have load, which is P C D is equal to twenty into two thousand. Twenty into Two thousand. It's not twenty. It's two. Sorry, make a correction because this weight is two feet. So two x. So we will get two into two thousand will be four thousand pounds. So this is for segment C D. Now we'll move for segment for segment B C. So I will cut it over here. So segment B C will be this one, and we will having a segment C D as well. So the length of this segment B C is taken as x because we will cut it at some portion, and the force that is the force. In segment C D, in segment C D, is four uh, thousand pounds total because two thousand into this weight will give you four thousand, and the weight of this pipe will be equal to weight two point eight, two point eight times this x. So in order to balance it, the force in P B C will be equal to two point eight x plus four thousand. Clear? So in order to P B C is equal to for x x is equal to five thousand. You can see a uh, length is five thousand. So two point eight into five thousand plus four thousand. Will be the load in P B C. Okay. We will now move toward segment. Uh, for segment E B. 
for segment AB I will cut this pipe over here the length and we'll draw the free body diagram so this is segment AB clear this is segment BC it should be straight this is segment BC and this is segment CD okay so force here is PCD which is equal to 4000 pounds and the force here in this is PBC which is equal to 2.8 into 5000 plus 4000 clear uh, sorry and this force PB, PBC is now uh, 2.8 multiplied by 5000 okay and in order this is portion this is point b this is point c and this is point d and this is point a let the length of a b is x so the load will be this load will be 2.50 times x so in order to balance it this p a b will be equal to this 2.50x uh, sorry 2.50x this is 3 oh, sorry not 2.50 is 3.2 so 3.2 weight is 3.2 into length will give you weight so PAB will be equal to 3.2x plus this which is uh, 4 now which is uh, which is 2.8 plus 5000 will be 18000 so this term plus this term is 18000 so i will write it 18000 so p a b will be equal to 3.2 into x plus 18000 now for this length which is 5000 feet if you put it so PAB will be equal to 3.2 into 5000 plus 18,000 now you have force in each pipe in pipe BC it is this in uh, in pipe uh, CD it, it is this and pipe AB is this so we will first calculate pipe stress in pipe CD which is equal to PCD divided by area so PCD is 4000 divided by area is 1.25 you can check it area or you can also write this um, 2 into X divided by area so X is 2000 so it will give you 3.2 KSI now stress in pipe bc which is equal to this one you can check this is the force pbc divided by area of bc clear so pbc is 2.8 into 5000 plus 4000 divided by area of this pipe which is 1.75 So you will get stressed in pipe BC is equal to 10.3 KSI. Now the third one is stress in AB is equal to PAB divided by area of AB. So PAB is this one 3.2 times 5000 plus 18000 divided by area so area is 2.50 so when you calculate it you will get stress in pipe a is 13.6 ksi so 
so we have find out the answer of our first part in next part it has been given to find out the chain elongation f of point d with respect to point a so we know that generally elongation we have here three segment a b b c and c d so total change will be change in a b change in b c and change in c d so i will write here sum of integral of p into x into dx divided by ax into e so this del d will be equal to integral of first part which is from 0 to 2000 that is cd so it will be equal to this equation pcd which is px is 2x 2x into small length dx divided by area which is 1.25 1.25 and e for a992 steel is 29 into 10 to the power 6 i will show you in a while plus in segment bc so its length varies from 0 to 5000 and the equation for it is pbc is 2.8 into x so i have written it somewhere pb is 2.0 this is the equation 2.8 x plus 4000 2.8 x plus 4000 into dx divided by area which is 1.75 e is 29 into 10 to the power 6 plus ab which is also varies from 0 to 5000 and PAB is this one 3.2 this one 3.2 x plus 18,000 divided by area which is area of 2.50 2.50 multiplied by 29 into 10 to the power 6 so when you solve this it's very easy now you, you have to integrate it and you have to simplify it and you will get delta is delta d is equal to 2.99 feet so it means that this point d moves 2.99 feet from point a from this point a and that is the answer before concluding it i will show you e value so you have to go to the end of the book that is property table and here you can check a992 so you can see this is a992 so its value is 29 into 10 to the power 3 ksi okay and that was all about this problem 4-20 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching